How many times have you decided to do something and given up the very next day? It could be as simple as waking up early or going to the gym or a bit more complicated or challenging like studying every single day. The only solution to this is mastering the art of consistency. Consistency is the process of repeating an activity over and over again in a given period of time. And trust me, whenever you master this art, you truly bring a lot of success into your life because usually when you practice a lot, you do end up getting better at that particular skill or objective you're trying to achieve. If you're new here, hi, my name is Anush Pachel. I'm a finally MBBS student at Government Medical College, Nagpur. And in this video, I'll go over the 10 ways in which you can be more consistent and bring a lot of success into your life. The first point is to set up a particular goal for an entire week. Now, you can categorize your goals into different things like, you know, going to the gym six times, filming three videos, studying every day for four hours, something like that, whichever works for you. When I was a neat aspirant, I used this technique a lot because every single Thursday we had a mock test. And that mock test contained the questions of whatever we were taught in that one week. So my only goal for one week was to complete the syllabus which was taught to me for that week and guess what happened after giving every single weekly test I was very very confident that I will have to study every single week and no matter what I cannot miss because otherwise my performance will start decreasing another example is that whenever I'm making a video for this channel I have one and only one goal that every single week I have to make at least one or two videos for the channel and that keeps me going because I know that this is my goal and I have to achieve it so once you know what you're working towards once you have a weekly objective your entire body your entire brain function focuses on that objective and gets the work done i also set up weekly objectives for studies that is completing five or six videos every single day for seven days that would give me 35 videos make sure that you are reminding yourself of these objectives by setting up reminders or pasting them on your wall or setting up a extra wallpaper for the same but make sure that you know that this is your objective and this is how you're gonna achieve it the next point is having computable results what do i mean by that it means that whenever you're working for something if you don't see the results immediately our monkey brain goes back and it feels like we should not do this that's one of the main reasons why people don't attend the gym regularly because even if you work out for like one hour for six days you won't see much of a change in the seventh day it's only when you get to three four five six weeks when you actually start noticing some changes happening in your body most of the habits that you're going to encounter are not going to be like this most of the habits are going to be countable they are going to be measurable that means if you want to complete a subject you can see how many video lectures you've completed if you want to complete a question bank you can see how many of them you have done and how many are left and every single time you watch a video or solve a question bank the progress bar update just a bit so that is enough motivation for you to keep going like I told you I had mock tests in my tuition classes and, and each of these mock tests gave us results like after the class was ended so in, so in Thursday morning we used to give the test and in the afternoon we had the results and those results were very very public so everybody could see who has scored how many marks so again I could see which subjects I was doing poorly at and which subjects I was doing good at in that way I could compute where I need to put more power even if you have objectives which cannot be measured even if you have objectives which are difficult to compute what you can do is just keep an internal motivation that progress is happening in the background and you will see it in three to five weeks and you can program your mind to think that only and only if you do it for five weeks will you ever see a small progress in it and as you keep going on the progress increases exponentially the third point is internal motivation that is if you're not motivated to do a particular thing you probably will never ever do it there's a subject called as preventive and social medicine in third year and it is usually considered to be very very difficult to get motivated to study for but once you start reading it you will feel like that is actually a good subject and only and only when you get to a certain point of finishing that subject do you realize how important of a subject that is and how beautiful that subject actually is but if you weren't motivated in the first place you will never start the subject and never finish it the same way there are so many different things in life which are not so motivated to start with we have to find our internal motivation and internal dedication to actually go about and do that thing. I'll give you an example I still haven't found the motivation to understand and read music theory even though I have been practicing the guitar for around three years now that's the thing the day I'll find internal motivation to do that I'll probably do it but most of the objectives that you're going to set aren't going to be as elective as I'll read the music theory once starting days are going to be very difficult but initially once you start the ball rolling it is usually pretty easy which brings me to my fourth point that is fighting through the hard days there's going to be days which are going to be different difficult for you to study, work out, do your objective, film a video because this is life and inevitably whatever you're targeting towards, life will sometimes throw some boulders and try to stop you. It is in those days that you have to focus and have to tell yourself that this is my goal, I have to achieve this and not stop even then. Fight through the hard days because once you go through those hard days, you will really really thank yourself later when you're successful. Whenever you're preparing for a need, when you're preparing for examination, there are days when you don't feel like studying, there are days when you don't feel like solving the question papers, there are days when you don't feel motivated to get out of bed at all it is those days which separates the topper from an average student because the topper gets up and gets the work done whereas the average student does not do anything at all here you have to decide which category do you fall into next point is to get more organized and whenever you wake up don't just be completely blank 
have some time slots in which you have fixed those activities you want to do every day. It might be going to the classes 7 a.m. in the morning or going to the gym 7 p.m. in the night or something like that. Have these things which are constant and every single day and be more organized. So whenever you wake up, you just know what you have to do. One thing which I like to do is make to-do lists. I use a planner to plan out all the things which I have to do in a week. That way I could keep a record of whatever I'm doing slash not doing. Next point is pretty simple and pretty obvious. Have fun with whatever you're doing. If you're doing something just for the sake of just doing it, you won't ever actually get it done. But if you're doing it for gaining something or gaining knowledge or gaining a new skill, then you would probably do it till the end. The classic example is you like to study the subjects which are interesting versus you don't study the subject which are not interesting. But if I was you, I would do the not interesting subject first because then I would know that only the interesting part is left and that would be easy for me. The next point is staying more accountable. And I'll tell you what staying accountable actually means. The reason that I post videos every single Sunday and don't miss ever is because I am accountable to you guys. I distinctly remember this one comment which changed my entire perspective towards YouTube was this. Some subscriber commented this and he said around 50 to 60 thousand people wait for your videos each week and if you don't put out a video you would be disappointing us all. It was pretty harsh but at the same time it was pretty truthful. Ever since that you guys have been my accountability partners where I put out a video every single week for you guys. Similarly you can find someone for your studies in which you guys both report to each other whatever you have studied and you both motivate each other to study the remaining parts. When the time of exam comes and it's difficult to focus after like second or third paper is done and only few papers are remaining this accountability partner will really really help out a lot because they will motivate you they will tell you that it's okay and they will push you to work harder and they will push you to be better another thing which you can do to stay accountable is to maintain a logbook or maintain habit tracker which will help you a lot of different apps such as axon or anki have built-in systems which will help you be accountable to your studies the next thing is to share your journey with the world because usually when you are alone in the road it feels pretty empty it feels pretty scary because you know but if you're taking the journey with a lot of people, then that becomes completely different because now it's filled with fun. You can stay together and you can discuss about so many different things. Means through Instagram posts, through blog posts, through YouTube videos. It's one of the reasons why I love this channel because I am I get to share my journey with you guys through different vlogs or videos such as this one. And to be honest, it does not really take a lot of extra effort to just write up a blog post or an Instagram post, but it will get you to connect with so many different people. The next point is to reward yourself whenever you've completed a particular mile milestone that may be two weeks of continuous studying every day for two hours after you're done with two weeks you reward yourself with something which is beautiful because rewarding yourself frequently does give you better results and this is scientifically backed up by a recent study which was done cardinal researchers who said people who received immediate frequent rewards for completing small tasks reported more interest and more enjoyment in their work your reward can be decided by you it could be a mini trip ordering your favorite food a cheat day or just taking a break from filming videos this will also prevent you from burning out from too much work the last point is different and I don't know how much you can apply it to your life but ever since I've got this plant, his name is Oxygen, I've been much more consistent with almost everything in my life. Because I've seen him since he was like this small and had like two different leaves and now he's grown so much. So by looking at him grow every single day, I feel like no matter what, if I work on myself, like the way I water him, one day I will grow and become big like he has. Especially since he's limited to that one single pot and I am unlimited to roam this entire earth. So if you can, getting a plant like Oxygen will definitely help you out too. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please consider subscribing because making videos such as this one take up a ton of time, effort and energy to make and subscribing in two seconds would pay off for all of that. Be sure to hit the like button on your way out. And also, if you're getting too distracted while doing things, watch this video, which will help you get rid of all the distractions. Thank you so much for watching. It's Subhanoj. I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.